guys doing? Good, Mick. Doing you? good, thanks. Okay, uh, we're here this morning. We, we're, uh, um, we were talking yesterday and um, looking at one of the designs that uh, Ben had in progress, and, and um, I'd realized that there was something different going on um, in terms of uh, making slides go in and out. So Ben, why don't you just kind of give us an overview of what we're looking at here and, and why you did what you did? Sure. Uh, well, I guess the, the first thing, the casting came in and requires me to have a slide pull on the on the opposite end here. You know, there's plenty of different options to to figure out how it slides in and how it slides out. Um, the biggest on this one is it only needed to move about three quarters of an inch. You know, so we wanted to get away from the hydraulic cylinders on a, on a permanent mold just for a couple of different reasons. You know, the heat and the cylinders, they don't interact very well. Um, the size of the cylinder on this smaller part uh, was going to hang out the back quite a bit. And I wanted to keep the slides individual just so that they could adjust them uh, if necessary and, and, and help to, to minimize the binding. So we went with more of a mechanical option, which is just a standard horn pin option where it comes in at an angle like this on the on the one half on the other half it has a slot and as the two open up it, it'll push the uh the slide back so so that kind of effectively a mechanical linkage it replaces uh hydraulic cylinders you've got a pretty short stroke there um presumably this is lower cost as well i'm guessing yeah, correct. It, it you know it simplifies the design quite a bit, um, and and makes it you know more robust basically. Yeah, and I know you and I have uh, worked through problems in the past. Uh, hydraulic cylinders in the casting environment, you've got to insulate them. You've got to make sure the heat doesn't get to them, and and you can have problems if they get abused in the foundry. So this, I'm guessing, is a much more robust foundry solution in this case. Correct. As as you can see here. Just mechanically, as that one pin pulls away straight, you can see how the one slide will move back. As it goes back far enough, it would stop. There's a couple yeah. of indents on the part that I keep it uh, located with. And when it holds it in the back, and it goes from there. And um, it's the action of the uh, casting machine coming together that, that causes the movement, right? This is a standard tilt pour machine, um, you know, pretty basic. Well, most a lot of people are using tilt tilt pours would use this, this machine here. As you open up the mold here, like this, that's what would actuate that slide. Yep. This pin would be stationary, and then this this slide would slide back on it as it would it pull away from it. Okay, great. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, you're welcome, Mick.